Hello and welcome to another episode on the channel. Episode five on the one tonner featuring my brother from, what's your channel called? The Resto Shed. The Resto Shed. So if he stops pacing, he can tell you about his channel. You've probably seen it already, but- Or you haven't. Or you haven't. After this, hopefully you will. But he's gonna be helping me today. We're gonna to be setting up the shifter and- Doing I'm lots of pacing. Doing lots of pacing, yes. But gonna do the shifter. Um, I think he's only helping me because he likes his shifter and wants one for himself. So he's going to help me set up the pedestal. And so he can analyze to see if he wants one to see if it's too hard to set up a pedestal. Ah. And the next thing is uh, we're going to be setting up a Gilmore belt. If my brother stops wearing it as a belt, which he currently is. He's ragging on my belt. Yeah, yeah I'm ragging on his belt. But that's what's going to be happening today. So stick around and you might learn something or well, you just or you just might see us being ghosts. comparing the size of the shifter so we can work out how high the um the aeroflow one needs to be all right so they're a bit this one's a bit taller because it's got the, the folded edge but i reckon i reckon you're about right i reckon it needs they're to be they're about the same i reckon needs to be i reckon that's too high yeah how high that's how high is that you reckon we'll go on your side <sighs> so about like there i reckon maybe a bit lower yeah, no, that's all right. How high is that? Let's see. That's about. Uh, we'll just do like a um, couple of inches. Two? Two and a half? Uh, we'll just add on like 75 mil to the sides and then we can trim them down to the shape of the tunnel, I reckon. And then that way, once they're trimmed down, they should be around sort of 50. Because I mean, I don't think that's. Uh, yeah, maybe about that. Yeah, maybe 60 or 50 mil. So we're using this car as a reference because this is how I set up. The shifter and the seat. The seat's all the way back because, you know, there's there's not a lot of room in these cars and utes are even worse. So I want the most room I can get. So this is a perfect car to use as a reference point. So the shifter will probably be like that. Obviously, it'll be more centered and it'll be a bit of an angle in the ute. But I'm going to be redoing this one after I do the ute in the future because I'm not a huge fan of that. And I would like it a bit higher. So we'll do it in the U and then once that goes all good, we'll do this at a later date. And hopefully they'll work out well. You can see the similarities in the shifter though. Mm. Especially in the box. These boxes are really nice. That's what she said. Well, all right, let's go do it. Alrighty. Have the, uh, what do you call this one, mate? This is the shifter pedestal. With the shifter pedestal. So what I've done here is, is I've obviously traced around the shifter, got the general shape. Uh, I've added five mil little lip, just so there's five mil that can go side to side, front to back, that sort of thing. Um, then I added 70 mil to the sides. So that'll give us plenty of height. We can trim that down to suit the shape of the trans tunnel. Um, I've, I'm going to trim this back so it matches the front of the shifter. Um, obviously that one will get folded down, obviously way past 90. Um, so that obviously makes up, so that'll make a box and then just, yeah, weld up the seams. Um, same sort of thing at the back, but that's more closer to a 90. Um, yeah, just about to get it ready, ready to cut out and um, start folding it up. What do you reckon, Jake? I reckon with the cold to make it follow the angles, it'll make it a lot nicer shape, other than just a generic box. Um, follow the contours of the shifter box with the pedestal, and I think it will be a uh, lot nicer result in the end. Oh, yeah, mate. I've always thought you were beautiful. Are you trimming now, are you? Yeah, mate. Why? Because. Why? It's a 
keep it on the mine, but I'm going to run for that for the moment. Starting to look like a box now. Yeah. Might just have to get the pod started and then just push it over. Yeah, I did wonder if I would get it all the way around. There we go, look at this. Expert tool right here. Yeah. And we'll just work that over with uh, hand tools, I suppose. Almost like, looks like a shifter box. Like that. Right, and uh, we'll close those up, put a few tacks on it, and then it should be alright. That'll be Something it. Like that. All right, that's the shifter pedestal all finished off. Um, well, making it anyway. Obviously a little bit more trimming to, um, to make it fit over the trans tunnel. But uh, brother's getting the, the nut certs all set up. He's pulled his shifter apart, that's somewhere, so then we can mount him on. Um, something like that. Oh, hang on, other way around. The shifter always looks backwards to me for some reason. Um, something like that. But um, yeah, that's come up all right. Obviously just folded the sides in, migged it up. Um, ground it down with a flat disc or an old flat disc. Cause yeah, the welds weren't too bad to, um, to take down in the other videos as you could probably see. So um, that was all pretty easy. But yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that's only made out of one mil and that's pretty strong now that it's um, all folded up and all welded so yeah that should be all right once it's got the nut circs in and like i said we'll trim this down to the shape of the floor get it level um mount the shifter unmount the shifter then we'll put this where it needs to be on the trans tunnel uh probably do a few stitch welds just to hold it in place and um yeah then i'll be ready for a little bit of seam sealer and put on some paint but obviously i'll um i'll prime up all inside here so no real worries of um, corrosion, so yeah, it should be alright for a little um, for a little hack up. So yeah, that one's all done for now. Brother reckons he's going to put the bench seat into the back of the other one, Tanner, by himself. So this will be good for a laugh. Oh, that is hot like fire. Hot like fire, he reckons. Come on, Arnold. Come on, give it a hootsa. There you call that. Something. Ah, you can do that one. It's all right. It's all right. 
an eye on you. Stay there. Oh, that's all right. I don't think that'll blow off in the wind. It'll be someone else's problem. Yes. I don't know what the floors are like in this one. Probably rooted. There we go, we're done. Ugh. Steering, obviously. No power steer means you can uh, lift up bench seats by yourself. Good here, brother. All right. So Hang on. I'll jump in. So we've uh, marked out where we want to put it. It's been nut sorted. We've bolted it together. I'm going to have it on a bit of an angle as that's kind of the trend at the moment. So that's pretty much what it's going to like. We just, we're going to have to take a bit out of here so it's level, so it's not like this. To, so we'll just take a bit out to go with the floor pan so it's on nice and butts up both sides. And then uh, I guess we'll weld it to the floor after we've painted the inside. That's about. That's about. Jump in on that side. Huh? I'll jump in on that side and have a bit of a look. That goes with the contours of the floor, they'll look really nice in there. I agree, brother. My brother's got something to show us. What has he got? What do you got, mate? Got that one just there. That's, um, That's almost him. fitting to the floor, nice and snug. Oh, snug enough as right. we need it. And I've got this piece right here. Yep. Because for some reason with HZs, some of them have them, some of them don't have a little dip in the floor here. And because we've got this yep. on a bit of an angle. Now this fella's something crawling up my leg. This one's uh it's got a little bit of a gap here, so I've just obviously fired up this piece. Yep. Now I'm gonna sit him in there, trim him to suit, and then I'll work that to uh to the box. All right, I'll come around and have a look at it. Have a look at the gap. Oh yeah, there's definitely a gap there. So what are you saying? You're gonna put a pace in there? I'm gonna grab this one. Hang on. And what I'm gonna do is, yep. is I'll trim this to suit the floor first. Oh, get it around the right way. And then I'll sit it where, I, where it needs to be on the box. Yep. And then I'll uh, mark it out. Well, I'll probably I'll trim it off this piece. I'll mark it along the back side, just along here. So yep. that's where the weld joint will be. And that'll finish that one off quite nicely, I reckon. Beautiful. Sounds good. Looks good. Should be all done soon. Also, slapped in the dash mat. Looks a bit better than a rag. Oh, I've since becoming older. I've started putting dash mats in cars because. Uh, 
these dash pads are getting real expensive and dash mat's only 40 bucks so does the job looks all right also while we're at it put the gilmore on she is super tight see if we can get down there that adjustment is all the way in and that belt belt is tight now the other problem i had with it was uh this was fouling on the water pump so i spaced it out with a washer on the snout and now it's fine the only problem is that how tight it is with no adjustment but i don't know i haven't started it yet i could hate it and it could be coming off Nice one. All right, so the brothers made in the fill-in piece. Look at that. That'll butt up real nice, make it nice and easy to weld with. What do you reckon, brother? Yeah, it looks good. So we'll rip the seat out. Crack up the floor a little bit. And uh, bring it in to weld it. No, oh, that looks good. It's getting there slowly. The other one. There it is. It's fading time at the zoo. It's the bubba. Mother's over there by the HQ. Normally a couple more, but that, that might turn up a bit later. What are you staring at? Huh? That's what you want, or is it just moving in line with itself? Oh. Gave me a good shot, I tell you that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what you want. All the fun. Shift the mounts in, just gotta wait for the same sealer to dry and we'll get some white paint on that, make it look like the rest of the cab. Pretty crap. Just kidding. Hmm. What do you got there, brother? Got the uh, turbo can. Oh, yeah. Guys, look at that. Here we go, look out. I'll have to jump in there a bit later and give me dirty feet and make it look like the rest. Here. Good, good thing it's a fray job. 
Might just leave that, I reckon. I reckon yeah. that looks alright. The show car job. Yeah. Ready for SEMA. Beautiful. Alright, so she's all back together. What do you reckon, brother? Yeah, looks good. Should looks do good. the job. What do you reckon? I reckon it looks pretty good. Kept the windows down overnight so it could air out all that paint. Still a bit tacky in some spots, but you get that with enamel, but oh, look at this side. That's him. We'll jump over the other side. All right, so that's going to end things for this episode. Still got to do the wiring up. If you want to see that in the near future, send a comment and I'll film it. Big thanks to Kyle for um, doing the pedestal. Saves me a bit of work. If you haven't seen his channel again, it's... The Resto Shed. The Resto Shed. So give that a like. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Shoot us a comment. If you want to see me hook up the shifter to the trans send a comment and i'll uh make a video on that as well if not i just won't film it anyway cheers for watching until next time catch you later